Alrighty, so I'm going to explain how you can uh, convert your videos into AMD format in bulk for the Ruizu MP3 players and probably for other MP3 players as well. So first thing you want to do is you want to be running on a Linux machine or at least a machine with um, like a, some kind of bash installed or shell. This is going to be um, git bash which is like M msys, msys I think, I forget what it's called, let's check. It's called yeah, msys2. So you can use msys2 to get this all up and running. And then you also need to have ffmpeg installed. And then once that's good, you have, I believe it should be good to go. Oh, and git. Install git. This, all right, git. So first thing you want to do is clone my project. So go somewhere that you have a good directory. So this is my desktop. Clone with this repository. github.com slash hypedraco. And then you also want to do AMD Hub. That's just what I called it. It doesn't really matter. So you'll see on my desktop, we now have AMD Hub. And we'll put that in the corner. Okay. Now, um, you'll see that we'll only go into AMD Hub. Clear. We need to make a folder called Input. This is where we can put our videos. So uh, I have a test video right here. Test.mp4. I'm just going to drag that into the input, copy it. Now I'm also going to show you as a demo, you can actually have folders in here as well. So if I call this like, uh, I don't know, let's say you have an album or like a, like a season, like season one. I can, call, I can duplicate that, call this like season, season two, season one, whatever. So it'll actually generate the same file structure as an output. You'll see when I generate it. So the last thing you need to do is dot slash AMV hub. Um, let me zoom out right here. It's just generating uh, using FFmpeg with the proper formatting. So if I hop into output, it's going to do album first, which is the first one that we had. We hop in there, we can take a look. It's currently converting. Um, you'll note when this finishes, there you go, now it's on the second video, which is going to be season one. It's just going to convert that. But anyways, this one's actually done. Test that AMB. If I double click that, you'll see. I wonder if there's like, yes. So, it's very low quality. And that's intentional because we're, we're running this at 320 by um, whatever the height of the player is or whatever the height of the video is. So, it's going to be 320 wide or 320p, I believe. Um, so yeah, it's going to be bad quality, but when you shrink this down to fit on the Ruizu player, it's going to be more like that, and you're not going to really notice anything. It'll look great, or it'll look fine. Um, and it's also the file size is pretty reasonable, 15 megs. Let's see what our starting file size was. 18 megs. So yeah, we actually reduced the size a little bit, uh, which is which should happen since we're converting to a smaller file size. But um, that's it. So now it's done. So what you do is you copy these to your... Uh, Ruizu player or whatever mp3 player you got and that would be it, it would work just fine. Um, there's also a log file which shows the last time the program was used so if you want to automate this to run on a server like I do you can see how often it's being run. Um, also there's parameters you can change in the shell script so let's open this with Visual Studio Code. You can actually change a couple things here. First things first, um, if your player supports AVI, change this uh, AMD format to AVI. Ruizu players claim they support AVI, but they don't support this type of AVI. It's their own proprietary format, so keep it as AMV. Frame rate, this has to be 30 or less. Um, as I said in my other video, it can be like 30, 16, 20, but it cannot be higher than 30. The width is 320, so that's like if you're holding the player sideways. Um, that's the, the how many pixels wide. Um, you can make this as big as you want, like 500. You can make it even 720. Um, the only problem is, or 1280, sorry, the only problem is um, it's going to increase the file size dramatically. And your player is not going to be able to see the difference because, you know, the player is actually only 320 wide. Um, so keep this at, like, a low resolution. I have players that are 128 and some players that are 320. So that's why I keep it as a, a maximum of 320. So it'll still work on those 128 pixel players. Um, and it'll look just fine. But it will also look very nice on my high-res players. The height... Um, you can specify a height manually, it'll just scale the video, so like, but that's a, pro that's a problem if the aspect ratio is not the same. It'll actually sh like, uh, like stretch the video or shrink the video, it'll look all weird. So keep it at negative one, which means keep the aspect ratio. So if it's like 320 by, 
whatever. It's going to keep the aspect ratio of the original format. Input. So this is what I'm doing right here, actually, which is I'm, I'm converting the Simpsons. Or, it's, yeah, I think the Simpsons. Um, if you look right here, I ch actually changed the input from input to, like, the, 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 fo the folder where all my Simpsons movies and videos are located. So that way you don't have to create this input folder. You can actually um, specify the folder, like, relative to th uh, the script, and it'll just pull from there instead. Output, um, you can just change where the output is. Like, instead of being an output folder, you can be like, you can make it go to your desktop or whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, that's it. So here's the parameters I'm using. We're using the input file specified, the format, which is AMV here. That's just the same as format right there. Um, so this one just sets the width and the height. Strict means that uh, even if the aspect ratio and the like, resolution isn't like a, isn't, isn't perfect, it still um, try to do it anyway. Set the frame rate. This only supports do uh, single channel audio AMV files. At least the codec I'm using. Um, so this is one single channel audio. You can't change that to two. It won't compile. It won't uh, convert. Audio rate is twenty two oh fifty, like I said before. Block size. This is just to. Um, I don't know exactly why I need this honestly, but it says I do when I convert it. Dash n means do not replace the files if they already exist. Um, so like if you try to convert a file again, it won't work, even though I have this that prevents that anyway. So this is just extra protection. Q min and Q max, that's a quantizer or quantalizer. I don't know exactly what it means, but it's, it's for the quality of the video. Um, you won't notice anything if you leave these out, but uh, leaving them in increases the quality a little bit, and the file size pretty much stays the same. So don't worry about that, and that's it. That's, re that's really it. Um, if you need help using the script, you can email me. Um, at TylerNIJ at gmail.com or you can access me on Telegram at Ty Ty Draco. Um, you can also just leave a comment on the video and I can try to help you out. Um, but yeah, I hope that helps.